out of Iraq. We're just getting word that a Florida native has been beheaded by the terrorist organization ISIS. Our Wendy Ryan is digging into the new development since they broke and joins us live now with the latest. Wendy. And Following the disturbing development since early this afternoon, ISIS released this new video that appears to show Stephen Sotloff just minutes before he was executed. In the video, the Florida man looks directly at the camera, saying he is paying the price for U.S. intervention. Sotloff's executioner also speaks directly to President Barack Obama. Because of your insistence in continuing your bombings in our Middle East and the Mosul Dam, despite our serious warnings, you, Obama, have yet again through your actions to get another American citizen. So just as your missiles continue to strike our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. Right now, Florida Senator Bill Nelson is condemning the killing and calling for U.S. action immediately. The senator is saying, quote, our hearts go out to the family of Stephen Sotloff. We must go after ISIS because the U.S. is the only one that can put together a coalition to stop this group. Sotloff is the second American to be executed by ISIS. Journalist James Foley was beheaded on August 19th. And in today's video, the armed militant threatens a third captive, British citizen David Cawthorn Haynes. Jameson. All right, Wendy, thank you. Sotloff grew up in South Florida. Right now, a family spokesman is telling us his family is aware of the new video and is grieving privately. Stephen Sotloff majored in journalism at the University of Central Florida. Tonight, our Serena Vazan is in Orlando getting a reaction for us from campus. Serena. And Jameson, as you can imagine, all the staff and the students here are absolutely heartbroken by this news. They have been following Sotloff's case very closely for the past couple of weeks. And I can tell you right now, we're standing in front of the School of Journalism. And just a short while ago, the university's president released this statement saying, Our USC, UCF family mourns Stephen's death. And we join millions of people around the world who are outraged at this despicable and unjustifiable act. We also spoke to a journalism professor who actually heads the journalism department here. She said some of, the, some of her students actually found Sotloff's roommate and asked him about him, and they said that he understood the risks. And so we now know that Stephen was aware of the dangers um, that he wanted that career, and that's what he wanted to do. So your students really weren't deterred by this? Oh, I'd say quite the opposite. I mean, everyone, of course, is very sad, um, feels for his friends and family, but journalism is in your blood. And they understand that. Um, to them, this is, this is something that um, he did on behalf of all of us. Now, see, Stephen Sotloff went to school here 10 years ago, and he actually wrote for the student newspaper. Back here live, as we mentioned, it is a very somber move. Everybody talking about this sad case on campus. And coming up at 6, we will have reaction from students. Reporting live from Orlando, Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.